Hey everyone, it's Emily and Dallas from Pea Vine Ridge Farms. Today we are going to try and set up a watering system that continuously flows so that the cows continuously have water. And we don't have to deal with the ice. So just, what, what do we all need, Dallas? Uh, I got solar panel, charge controller, battery, some hose, a submersible 12 volt pump, and hopefully it'll do what I need it to do. Continuous flow. This is a battery box. I'm going to see if that big battery fits in it. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is be all out in the open. Oh lordy. pump. It's cold out enough that hopefully it doesn't make the insulation crack when I'm trying to straighten it out. And like the Cat 6 cable I was stringing on earlier today, I was cracking all over the place. And I don't know if I'll be able to film every single thing because it's so cold out right now with the wind and everything that my phone might die really quick. So At least I brought a spare phone. <laughs> I know you brought a spare phone but... <laughs> We might just show everybody as we here and yeah, there she's blips. Cold. <laughs> There's no flex what's up. <laughs> and the cows thought we had loop, so they followed us and chased us all along the fence. <laughs> I think the deepest spot in there is actually right out. The well, I have a hole chopped out by the fence. You do? Yeah. Uh, Ed just gotta kick snow over it to keep it from freezing. That hole there too is, he could be pumping out of that one still, but there is that one over there. Alright, oh, I will drill it somewhere in the middle with the new ice auger. <laughs> okay, well I'll just turn the camera off now and show people bits and pieces here and there. Okay, Dallas is going to crawl through the culvert <laughs> to run the hose. I hope you do not fall through this. That looks pretty solid. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Oh, it's so slippery, it's awesome. <laughs> this would be fun as a kid, Em. Well, I can imagine, but I don't really want my kids crawling in it. Surprise, cows, right up. <laughs> Pull against them a little here. Yeah. Oh. Yep. They're all gone. <laughs> Did you see them? They all took off like a bullet and just ran away. Okay. So that's just letting Dallas know it's beeping because it's telling him it's charged or whatever. It's, it's very annoying. It's, it's not telling me it's charged. What's it telling you then? It's telling me that there's no AC power charging it, even though I got a solar setup. So I'm just adapting things for a different purpose. <laughs> That's why it's beeping. So Dallas is going to try out his uh, Christmas present. <laughs> what did you get for your Christmas present? Uh, one of the first generation Ion, an Ion R1. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Uh, say there's water through it. Yeah, let me get over here so I can actually see it. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, that was a lot of ice. <laughs> so now to get the water pumping. All right, this is Dallas Smith from Peavine Ridge Farms, and uh, the little video we started earlier, we've got success now. I can't figure out how to silence that alarm, but she's pumping water. 
<laughs> my little solar battery charge setup. <laughs> yes, you can get that water. You can either walk double up the ditch double this double way or whatever. Right I think it's like 50 feet of hose. Yeah. It is 50 feet, yeah. The Dallas ran hose through the culvert. Yeah, and that was And we put fun. the water trough here because this is a ditch that the lake overflows into anyway. So we thought if it was set up here at an angle, it can overflow into the ditch and just go down the And ditch. continue down the ditch. Yeah. But yeah, since it's going to be continuous flow, it'll keep the ice off of it while it's cold. Yeah, I, I should call that a grand success. Hopefully that's a dirty water rated sub pump. <laughs> Otherwise it's going to get clogged up. <laughs> oh well. It's cheap anyways. <laughs> yeah, there is. It's just the motor getting burnt up on the inside. But oh well. <laughs> For an experiment, this has been successful. <laughs> I'm you know, that was so easy that even if you had to roll up the hose and the pump and take it up to the house, you could leave everything else set up, couldn't you? And just yeah, exactly. Down. Gosh, it's so cold that like the water's freezing, then it's overflowing on top of the water again. <laughs> I'll have to show everybody the other side. Alrighty, yeah. So um, there will be an annoying beeping noise. I will probably figure out how to it's saying that AC power is gone and now it's in backup sump mode. But yeah, I adapted basically somebody of what you'd use for a backup pump in your basement in case the power goes out to keep your basement from flooding. I rigged it up so that it'd just be uh, watering for watering the cows in the cold weather. And you can see there's my solar panel. I got it at a pretty steep angle. I might even like it at a more steep angle. I wish the trees weren't in the way, but it's facing south. But it's charging the uh, battery. The experiment will be to see how long this lasts. So you see sitting on top of there. Oh, it's all through the floor right there. <laughs> you see on top there is the charge controller for the solar. It says it's charging. You can hear the pump just rearing away down there. And yeah. Oh, here's my battery. Boat battery all hooked up. So let's do that like that. I might turn snow in on top of this to try and get the hole open. Yeah. But yeah, she's running. That's cool. And yeah, the ion ice auger made a nice big 10 inch hole for me, so happy all around with this. The cow's got water now. <laughs> and if like it dies kind of prematurely, I'll just get the little expansion pack for the solar panels to get another panel. It's all an experiment. We'll see how this goes. Just add to Thanks it for as watching. We go. Yep, just add to it as we go. All right, I made one change. I made it so that the water going into the tank is a little bit above it, so that it generates some bubbles, which helps prevent ice from forming. But yeah, the constant flow should help. As you can see, the cow's drunk it down a bit, so it stopped overflowing, but it's been overflowing for a bit. And yeah, the system's working so far, so I'm pretty happy. So uh, next plan after this is I'm probably gonna add another solar panel, just in case. Like, we'll see how it performs overnight if that battery holds up. But just in case, I'll add a second solar panel to it. But yeah, she's working really good. And those bubbles should definitely help keep the ice off. They're a little sketched out about going down into the ditch to drink, but the other cow heifers, like, they'll walk down this edge, and, like, you're standing on solid ground, and they can easily reach their head into it. Like, they don't have to drink over there. It's just because of my presence here. They don't want to drink right beside me. But, yeah, she's still on solid ground. She's not even on the ice, and she's drinking. And she's one of the smaller animals. So, yeah, she's working out good. I think that'll actually um, finish the videos off for today. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.